Weather-wise, we've had a relatively late start to seriously hot, humid days. Now, this may seem like a good thing, but our bodies actually need time to become better accustomed to the temperature. The next few days will be a shock to many people's systems. You need to take this heat seriously and watch out for these red flags. The heat doesn't mean life stops, so lots of people either have to or choose to stay active outdoors. Now, the main way we cool ourselves is by sweating. As the sweat evaporates, it cools us down. That's why a dry heat is more tolerable than heat with high humidity. Of course, the price of sweating is a loss of fluid and body salts, which is what causes some of the problems we see. Your body does its best to keep your temperature in a normal range, but if you keep generating more heat through activity, it puts an extra strain on your body. Now, the first red flag that the heat is taking a toll is obvious in how you feel. If you're fatigued or sluggish and you have a headache or feel like your heart is pounding, especially if you get lightheaded, you should take the hint and cut back. Now, another red flag may seem indelicate, but it's very practical and important. If you find that you are going to the bathroom less often to urinate and your urine is a concentrated darker yellow like this color, not this more normal yellow, it means that your kidneys are sensing that you're dehydrated and they're holding on to as much water as they can. You should listen to what your kidneys are trying to tell you. This is an early sign of dehydration and you need more fluid. Now, when we lose fluid and electrolytes from sweating, it can cause the next red flag, muscle cramping. This can occur whether you're being active or not, but it is more common with activity. Now, as someone's body temperature becomes dangerously high, the biggest red flag to watch out for is confusion and blacking out, almost like being drunk. When it gets to that stage, the major concern is the start of heat stroke. That's an emergency, and the person should go to a hospital. Staying well hydrated is really the most critical thing. Now, most people get enough salt in their diets that special rehydration drinks just aren't needed. Plain old cold water is just fine, but it is important to prehydrate at least a half hour before exertion in this heat. Start drinking fluids so you do not fall behind with fluid losses.